A man suffering from a serious eye disease has a real reason to be thankful this year. He's getting his sight back thanks to some generous people who paid for the surgery. And our health specialist Anissa Doris is here with that heartwarming story. Yeah, and it's information that may help a lot of people out there. It'll be an early Thanksgiving for William Fleming. He suffers from a potentially blinding eye disease called keratoconus. One solution would be getting a corneal transplant, but it's very risky. So he searched for an alternative and found a local doctor who's pioneered an innovative treatment. Best of all, Fleming found out the surgery would be donated. Let me open this door for you. William Fleming needs a little help getting to where he needs to go. For the past three years, his eyesight has been slowly deteriorating. It looks like looking through a dirty window. Uh, everything's blurry, everything's dotted, nothing is visible. When he would go use his phone, his cell phone, he would bring it really close to his face, right by his nose to see, and I just thought that was weird. After his fiance Nina Baca took him to see numerous eye specialists, they discovered he had a sight robbing disease called keratoconus. They were all saying he needed two cornea transplants. And I didn't want to go that route because he would be out of work for at least two years. Two years and a 20% risk it wouldn't work was too much of a gamble for this couple and their five children. Keratoconus causes weakening in the collagen fibers of the eye. As a result, the cornea starts bulging uncontrollably. It used to affect one in 2,000 people. Now doctors say it affects one in 500. Nina went online to find another solution for William. She discovered a less invasive treatment and the local doctor who pioneered it. There's going to be some pressure sensations. Okay, so you feel some little pressure. We gave you lots of really good numbing drops and numbing gel. Ophthalmologist Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler is performing a procedure called Holcomb C3R. It's a non invasive corneal collagen cross linking procedure that involves special eye drops and light therapy. It's the first time we can non invasively stop keratoconus from progressing. So we have a very long track record, and we know that as long as patients take good care of themselves, most people can expect us to have a single treatment in their life. The disease in William's eyes are so severe, he's also getting implantable lenses. Minutes after the procedure, William says he feels like he's getting an early Christmas present. I can see the door handle, the garbage, everybody's face. This is great. William and Nina share a look the two won't soon forget. And there is a risk of irritation and complication for any eye procedure. But so far, William says he's doing great and seeing clearly. The cost of this treatment is on average $3,500 per eye.